I'm back to finish up kind of the last two tutorials for CH Control Manager and they are dealing with the two scripting engines within CH Control Manager. One is a command file or a CMC and the other one is um, Control Manager scripting uh, which is called CMS. Uh, they're a little bit different. What CMC allows you to do, and that's what we're going to be discussing about today, is CMC controls, is to create a function uh, to label your macro, and then you define your keyboard layouts and things like that in an actual structured file as opposed uh, to simply inputting the command. Uh, today I'm using a modified version of Toys R Me's uh, Star Citizen version 0.9 control map and scheme solution. Uh, you can find this at CH Hangar. Please look at the link in the profile um, or in the description down below, and uh, it should take you right to the uh, download site on CH Hangar. Um, now, this file is actually modified by me uh, to suit my personal tastes, but to give an example, launch countermeasures, which I believe is the Z key um, on the keyboard. Now, whenever I did this last in my old profile, in fact, I will load the old profile right here, you know, button five, here we go. I had this button right here, uh, which I programmed in the application to, when I press it, fire a, actually I have it combined right now to fire chaff flare, chaff flare. This is a um, binding you would see in like Falcon 4 and flight sims where typically speaking whenever you have an incoming missile you're going to dispense both chaff and flare uh, just in case it's a radar or heat seeking missile and you don't have time to figure out what the hell is shooting at you. Something's kind of coming and um, as a result usually it'll be flare, chaff, flare. Uh, this produces a similar function where it releases flare, switches to chaff, releases uh, the chaff, switches back to flare, releases another flare, and upon release it would then go back to chaff, um, is how it's configured to go right now. Um, but I was able to do this via just typing in those commands right here in the screen. Well, with CMC, you could define this as um, chaff flare chaff as the name of the function and then you would essentially write these commands out in the file. So I'm gonna go ahead and reload um, toys map uh, my version of it here and again we'll see cycle cm equalize weapon power the commands have been changed to an, an actual name uh, and you can name these whatever you want but to edit this you would go here to cm editor and this pulls off by default the CM, uh, CMS, which we'll talk about next time in the next tutorial. But you're looking at the command file, the CMC. And you'll notice, first off, anything with two slashes in front will cause um, the line to become, or that section to become, a comment, which means it's not actually read by the program. It's used to leave yourself notes. Um, so he has a function here. It's called push to talk. Now notice they have to be alphanumerics. They also, uh, there's no space, so you either have to use the underscore or a dash um, to separate out words. So the function is push to talk, and then in red here, you basically press space, or you can tab a couple of times, but a space or tab, and then the key that it relates to on the keyboard, I guess it could also be another device such as the mouse as well. So push to talk would activate his pause button which I'm assuming how he has it set up for uh, TeamSpeak. Now here's an example of something I did. Let's say, uh, you know, this is the original version, but let's say I want to remap that, but I want to keep the original. So I would delete the section here, and now throttle up command would hit U instead of W. So if you need to go back and do revisions, this is an easy way of making revisions and uh, keeping the original material. But it's not U in Star Citizen, it is in fact W for throttle up, so I am going to go ahead and switch it back. Uh, you can tell that even after the line, I went ahead and went slash slash. Anything past that double slash, the program will ignore. So you can say, hey, this is a test version of the original, this is a, you know, this was the original, this is a test. 
You can also combine uh, keys in order to do macros, such as control caps. You know, this would be um, hitting two keys at the same time. Actually, two sep not at the same time. Uh, control then caps. We go through here. Uh, KB up, down, left, right. Uh, that's the kind of little arrow keys that are normally under the insert home area. Missile systems, you know, mouse click, um, left click, right click. Uh, I should say M should be middle click from a mouse. KP is a keypad. That would be the numeric keypad, the 10 digit. Um, keypad typically on the right hand or yeah right hand side of uh, full size keyboards and then you get down here he has uh, the rebind keys to where he can essentially hit a button on the joystick and it will open up the console and then you, it will type in PP rebind keys and then notice instead of there's a space in between each um, key that's supposed to be pressed but if you actually want to have a physical space you need to press the space bar and the command for that in CMC or um, within control manager uh, if you wanted to map it um, you know in a, in a standard mode I guess I should select a button instead of an axis here you know if I wanted to program out and say hit space bar that would be space break I would uh, type in SPC there and then CH and then enter. In fact, if you wanted to shift this out, you could. Oh, gotta get the right place. Go tilde, enter, tilde. So if I did this and it executed correctly, what would happen is it would automatically open the console, enter in the command, close the console again. So then it would load the CH XML file that he provides with his profile. So this clears, you know, cut, copy, paste, insert file, undo, find, replace, find. Options, um, you know, you can look at normal text, uh, the different colors for different directives, message font, things of that nature. Uh, that's editor options, not in-game options. User's guide, um, CMS, this is kind of their how everything works and we'll be going over this in more detail later on in the next tutorial so that's CMC scripting kind of in a nutshell not a very long tutorial here but uh, if you want to give commands a more logical name as opposed to just remembering what XZ and all that stuff does uh, and you want to give it a command like launch countermeasures change countermeasures you know, add power group one, add power group two, uh, and bind those in this section. You know, I could say in, in mode two, I want this to be. Now it is case sensitive. So if I type that in, saved it, and everything in mode two of the joystick, when I hit um, whatever button it is, uh, that button, hat three, right, button number 14 it would launch the console and type in uh, the rebind Oop, the rebind command or should uh, apparently it did not save I think by default uh, I'm in mode 2 I need to look at mode 1 interact push to talk HUD focus mode Okay. And you should be able to do something like this. it you'll get a download well 
I didn't screw anything up too badly according to this. So, you know, those are all options you can do for doing more advanced programming. Uh, so now if I went in and hit that button, it should automatically uh, configure to use the CH joystick in uh, Star Citizen. And, um, you know, that's basically today's tutorial on how to do CMC programming. Hopefully it made uh, sense to you or enlightens you how you can do things like that and then combine them into here. Um, Next up will be the CMS scripting tutorial, and you can do a lot of very advanced things in the CMS script, uh, scripting um, panel, or basically CMS controls. That being said, um, it helps if you have a backgrounding or a basic understanding of uh, programming logic, in particular um, if-else loops, or else-if loops, whatever we want to call them, if-then statements. Um, Operators is a comparative operators uh, greater than less than equal to um, how to assign and recognize variables and uh, uh, functions and things of that nature. If you've never done any programming before in your life and you have no idea what I was talking about right there, it would probably benefit you to go ahead and um, do a little bit of background research just into basic programming. Um, programming 101 uh, as it were. If you have any idea what I was talking about right then and there for the next tutorial you'll be fine. So again this was CMC scripting with CH Control Manager. Uh, I hope you found it intuitive and informative. Um, I mean I'm just kind of scratching the surface of things you could do with it. Um, any questions, comments, please leave in, or I should say any questions leave in the comments section. Um, take a look at uh, Toys R Me uh, profile that's linked in the description below and um, thank you very much if you found these tutorials to be helpful please like subscribe and uh, share with your friends